the fact that I probably should have taken my mom up on going to Australia like during this time because Nicola Coughlin and Luke Newton surprised Bridgerton fans in Bowerl and also informed everyone that they had been repressing their chemistry. Here are some of the interviews from this amazing event. It was amazing because we've known each other now five years and People were like, what did you do to build the chemistry? I'm like, well, we just stopped repressing it. General Australia, how did this happen? You know what? Well, they wanted to keep it secret. And then I went to Luna Park yesterday and a teenage girl got a picture with me and I was like, oh, I'm going to get in so much trouble if this gets out, but it didn't. Mm. So we kept the surprise, which was great. I, I love that. Did they do a good <laughs> job of transforming Barrel? Does it actually feel like you're in Bridgerton or just a small Aussie town? Yeah, it's beautiful. And we, like everyone's so dressed up. It looks great. I'm excited to see a little bit more of it and I'm explore. really excited. It's beautiful yeah. here. Well, I'm not sure if you're aware, but Australia's big on our big tourist attractions. We've got a big banana, big prawn, and nearby where you are, there's the big spud, the big potato. Are you going to pay that a visit? Oh, my... You know, that just links to my heritage, so it's just a beautiful <laughs> recognition. And even if you have so many patties in this country, look, that just makes me feel yeah. at home. That's beautiful. <laughs> it doesn't really look like yeah. a potato, though. It kind of looks like a big turd. Yeah, it does. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to say. I, I was thinking say. that, yeah. yeah. <laughs> now, in this season of Bridgerton, you guys are at the centre of the love story. So what kind of romance are we going to be getting this time? Wow, it's very romantic this season. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's fun to like play out their story finally. It feels like fans have waited a long time to see, you know, their friends to lovers romance sort of come through. So yeah, we throw everything into this season for sure. Yeah. Now the show is known for some pretty spicy scenes, all that bodice ripping. How raunchy are we talking in season three? I mean, should I watch it with my nan? Uh, please don't watch it with your nan. <laughs> we won't watch it with our nans, no. I think. <laughs> no, I, I, my mum watched them the other day and I skipped a, a whole sizable mm. chunk of it. But maybe if you give your nan like a Baileys beforehand, then maybe <laughs> she'll yeah. be fine, I don't know. <laughs> How does it go watching it with your families? I yeah. really don't want to do That's it. It's not going to happen, no. I don't think. We've seen it now and that makes this even more yeah. Absolutely not. No. <laughs> Well, Nicola, you are on an incredible journey. You've done Barbie, you're in Dairy Girls, Bridgerton. Did you ever expect to become a Hollywood it girl? I don't think I've ever been called that in my life. <laughs> That's very nice. I don't think of myself, I think of myself as a little ragamuffin from Galway. Oh. So it's funny, because I, like, five years of working in an optician's two days a week, so I still very much feel like that. So, but it's quite, quite fun to be in Australia in a, in a fancy dress. Mm. <laughs> Luke, I, I mean, all of this success and talent, is she just truly insufferable on set now? <laughs> Absolute diva, <Nightmare>. no, honestly. <laughs> no, I feel like we're very similar in that. We conduct ourselves the same way on set and yeah. we're very, um, like, giving. We, yeah, we work the same way. I'm not talking about those scenes. I'm talking about, you know, on set <laughs> etiquette. <nothing> whatsoever. <laughs> There's a lot of innuendo going on. Yeah. I don't think any of us quite understand no. what that's all about, but it sounds hard. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry. Bridgerton, season three, premieres 16th of May on Netflix. Would you please thank the wonderful Nicola and Luke. Thank you very much.